I was in an abusive relationship for quite some time. My friends and family warned me to get out, but quite frankly, I just didn't listen and I couldn't see it. If you were in an abusive relationship or you know somebody that's in an abusive relationship, I urge you to listen to my story. Welcome to my channel, ladies. My name is Angelica Ventries. I'm the creator of Fit for Life, a transformation program where we help busy professional women heal their guts, heal their minds, and transform their bodies without restrictive diets. So today, as I said, I'm gonna share with you a super personal story. I shared a little bit about it actually on Facebook last week, and it felt very cathartic for me to do it. And I know there are other women who are going through the same thing or have been through something similar. So I just really wanted to share this with you guys. So I was about 10 years ago, and I was in this relationship with this guy that started out super amazing. You know, in the beginning when you meet someone and it's like all lust and passionate, and it started off really hot and strong and then and then he got really crazy and you know I, I was with him for about eight months I stayed in that relationship for eight months but just there were you know there may be some red flags that I decided to not pay attention to because I I unfortunately fell in love with him and there were just little things like first started with little things about being jealous, jealous of me going out with my friends or talking to other guys, just little, little things here and there, but I would ignore them and be like, oh, it's not a big deal, all guys are jealous, you know, blah, 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 whatever the stories we tell ourselves, right? Um, and then one night we got in a fight and he got super, super heated and he like came up to me like almost like this with his hands like towards my neck and I was like, what? like what just happened like that was like insane you're I was like you're just super mad you need to calm down blah 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 just once again kind of just like pushing it to the side make excuses and we had gotten to obviously other fights like throughout the relationship and it seemed that he was just getting like more crazy more crazy more verbally abusive calling me names that I will not say on this video you know calling my sister names calling my family it was it was just disgusting he was like a disgusting human being um and I kept I kept staying with him and I really you know looking back on it now I know it, but at the time I didn't know why I was like I would think in my head like oh like what like why am I subjecting myself to this this is ridiculous he's such an asshole but then I guess he would bring me flowers and then everything would be fine right I mean there's just like you know all that vicious cycle ridiculousness that uh, maybe some of you can relate to right I, I would love if you share in the comments if you've ever been through something like this where you do subject yourself to being verbally abused or physically abused and you just keep taking it and taking it because it's almost like one you don't know how to get out and two you kind of don't feel like you're you're worth more you know um, which I'll talk about in a second so the straw that broke the camel's back was we got into a really bad fight and he did that, you know, like coming up to me like, ah, like I almost want to like, I felt like he was going to say, I want to kill you, but he didn't say that. But he's like, you're cursing at me, yelling at me and coming up to like almost strangle me. And then I backed away and then he chucked a wooden hanger at my head. And I never got out of a place so fast. So he didn't hit me, but the fact that he could throw an object at me was, I was beside myself. <laughs> I was just like, what the, f like what the actual F? just happened and I didn't even take my stuff I just I didn't even care I just left and I never talked to him again and I went through a really really bad phase after that like questioning myself how could I do this to myself why did I let myself be in that relationship I gained some weight after that I saw a bunch of therapists so I really felt broken and I mean we're all broken to some extent right but I did not break so I did not let that situation break me and that is what I want to talk to you guys about today too because if you've been in something like that or if you're stuck in something like that it's okay you can get out you will not break you are better than that right and what I realized looking back on it why I stayed in that relationship was just because at that time I just didn't think I could do better like I thought okay well yeah I'm just this is like what I deserve I deserve something like this like I'm just meant to be with someone who treats me like this and that's what I just kept telling myself like I don't deserve better he's there are these good traits about him like the few good traits but I would ignore the bad traits and just really focus on the good ones which really just comes down to me not valuing myself as high right and not holding myself to a higher higher standard and not loving myself the way I should love myself. Because when you truly, truly, deeply love yourself, you don't subject yourself to that. 
and it's taken me years of self-work and even years of reflection to realize like, wow, I just really was at a low point in my life. Yes, after uh, we broke, well, I, we broke up, but then even in that relationship, I was in such a, a low point to subject myself to that. And yeah, it feels like I'm like tearing up a little. It feels good to talk about. And I just know that there are other women out there going through you know, the same thing or have been through it and maybe afraid to talk about it because they feel ashamed. And I just want to say like, don't feel ashamed. It is good to talk about. It is good to share your story. And that's why I wanted to share it with you guys because yes, now I do feel like I'm a strong, I am a strong, confident woman, but uh, I've been through some shit and I, I know you guys have been through some shit and that's what makes us, that's what makes us stronger, right? What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And I definitely think I, I know I've gotten stronger from that situation and I value myself much higher now. I'm in a great relationship now. Um, you guys have maybe seen some of my other videos with my boyfriend, Mike, but he treats me with the utmost respect, so much love. But at the end of the day, you need to love yourself first before you can get into any relationship and set those boundaries. Yeah, I hope this story resonates with you guys. If you have any questions or comments, I'm like an open book. Um, I, I really do hope that if you are, you know, stuck in something that you realize you are, you are worth it, girl. So I see you, I got you. And you know, if, if this resonated, please feel free to also just privately send me a message. I would love to connect with you and I will see you guys soon. Thanks for listening to my story. My name is Angelica Ventrice.